Hi everyone, it's Gina. Thanks for stopping by. Today, this is a brief video showing you how to upload or change the header in your Twitter profile. Twitter recently rolled out a whole lot of changes and for those of you who haven't already had the chance, I want to show you today how you can utilize the new header layout. So let's get started. Of course, the first thing you want to do is be logged into your Twitter account. And this is my Twitter account. And in case you didn't know it, I'm on Twitter. My handle is Virtual Gina. So there I am. So what I want to show you is, is how I uploaded this or changed the image that I had here before. Now I'm going to actually use the same image, but I'm going to walk you through the steps so you can see how to do it. Now, there are two ways that you can change your header in your Twitter account. So the first way is, is to go over here to this wheel icon. And if you click on that, you're going to select settings. Then we want to go over here and select profile, select profile, sorry. Now this gives you the option to change your Twitter profile image as well as to change the header. And for this exercise, we want to click on change header. Then we want to upload photo. And I'm going to go over here and find the photo. Now what I want you to see is that this photo is actually a full-sized image. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click on it. Now what Twitter does is allow me to move this image around so that I can see how it will appear in the header. Now in order to do this, you need to hold down the shift key while you move the mouse. In addition to moving this image this way, I can also zoom in and change the way it displays. So you want to hold down your mouse, click on the zoom key, and you can zoom in, and then you can move the image around. And again, all of this is accomplished only when you are holding down the shift key. So for the sake of my header, I really don't want the zoomed look. So I'm just going to go and zoom it back out or in. And I'm going to adjust it to where I can see all that nice content I created. Then I hit apply. <clears throat> So of course the speed depends on your internet connection or maybe how, how large the image is. Now once that is done, I'm done. So you will see any change that you make will appear first in this bo box once you're logged in. But if you want to see how it looks to somebody that's visiting your profile, if you click on the me icon, that shows you exactly what a visitor to your profile will see. So here I've given somebody a call to action to please follow me. So if you're not following me already, I would really love it. Now let me show you the second way. Once you're logged in, this is what you see, um, the edit profile. And this is only visible once you're in this, once you clicked on the me icon, this is going to be visible right here. So you want to click on edit profile, and then you get another way that you can upload the photo. Again, you want to go over here and select the image that you would like uploaded. And there you have the same options. And remember, you have to hold down the shift key in order to move things around. And there again, you have the ability to use the zoom feature. You can zoom it in and then move it around as you like. But for me, I'm just going to leave it that way because I've already, like I said, placed my content exactly to where I want it. Then you want to hit apply. And again, this will take as long as, you know, based on the speed of your computer and the internet and so forth. Now, once you've done that, this is one additional step. And that is you have to hit save change. And the other version or the other way that we did it, once you hit apply, it was save. But in this version, you have to hit save changes in order for the changes to take effect. So there you have it. Now, what I also want to show you is this. If you go over here and you click on the home button when you're logged in, you're going to see over here, this is where your Twitter header resides in that view. But if you click on the me view, this is what you see. Now, what I want to show you is if you log out of Twitter and call up your profile. Now, my profile, as, as I said earlier, is virtual Gina. So I'm twitter.com virtual Gina. And you notice this is what people will see People that are not already following you have the ability right here to either follow or unfollow you 
from this screen. So this is what somebody who is following or not following will see when they call up your Twitter profile. So again, thanks for watching. And if you want to learn, if you, you know, if you've learned something from this video, I would love it if you would click the like button below the video. And it would even be better if you actually shared the video for me. Um, to people that you think might benefit. And if you want to learn more about the information that I share on social media and starting an online business, if you go to GinaStar.com, there's lots of free stuff over there that I think you would find very useful. And I would appreciate connecting with you there as well. And if you want to get my updates on the regular, you can just sign up for my list. And I'm giving you um, a list of 30 free tools that you can use to um to grow your online business and thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you again very soon